Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my weekly mounting basket. Um, I'm just going to go through the couple that I'm just rolling over. I'll go through them really quick because I, you know, I've already talked about them once before. So we're just going to kind of mention them and put them in the basket. Not going to go into too much detail, but this one is probably not a shock. I'm still working on this one. It's from L3. It's pine, peppermint, and eucalyptus. It's a loaf that I am continuing to just make progress on. Um, and then this one is one that I did not finish last week. So that one I figured I would roll over. I have four cubes. This is from K Scented Melts. And this one is um, a custom I did. It's vanilla swirl, regular coffee, and funnel cake. So we'll finish that one up. Um, and then I'm pulling in a scoopable, which I have, I only have a little collection of scoopables. I don't have a ton. I, I definitely have like less than 10. I don't have that many at all, but I'd still like to like work on my, uh, scoopables. I've just, I've realized I haven't touched them in a minute and I just would like to kind of get started and like rotating some of them in. So this one is one that just, I remember I really enjoyed it. I had it in like just like a solid wax form. Um, I remember I got a sample of it, I believe, and then I decided to get it in a scoopable. So I do enjoy the scent. I just haven't melted it in a minute. So that's what I have like left in this one. I just feel like scoopables, like since a little bit goes a long way, they kind of intimidate me because I feel like they last like almost like longer sometimes than like a loaf would. Maybe it's just me. I just, maybe I don't put enough. I just put like a small amount in my warmers, but I just, cause I feel like a little bit goes a long way. So for me personally, it takes a very long time to go through a scoopable. So, um, I think that's part of why I don't pull them as often just because I feel like it just takes me forever. But you know, obviously if I don't melt them, I won't get through them at all. So we're just going to pull it in. And I didn't even say what this is. This is Don't Fear the Reaper, which is warm vanilla sugar, Bath and Body Works type, and fuzzy socks and hoodies. So the fu fuzzy socks and hoodies, I don't know the exact scent notes on that one. If I look on her website and I do find it, I can maybe put it in the video here. But I'm assuming it's something like masculine because I get like a hint of, yeah, like to me it gives me like kind of a masculine vibe. But then you get that nice warm vanilla sugar. I do enjoy that scent. So I think this one is a really nice one, especially for like the bedroom or something. It's just a very nice kind of calming, relaxing type of scent. So we're going to pull this in. I figured I can try it in the bathroom this week. Or not the bathroom. The bedroom. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and then this is another one I pulled for the bedroom just so I could kind of, you know, switch it up if I wanted to. Um, and that's this one, which is Birdie's Making Scents. It's candy cane, pink sugar, and vanilla bean at Noel. I love a pink sugar blend that has like mint with it. I'm all about it. So, oh yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. So we're gonna pull this one in. And this one is a smaller shape. Like this would probably be maybe four melts, but maybe like three, three to four depending, but it's a really pretty scent. So we'll put that in this week. And, um, that is it, I think for bedroom melts. Yeah. Okay. So everything else is just kind of like some bakery. We have some like pine, like tree scented stuff. We have some fruit, like fruity scents. I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of everything because some days I crave certain like types of scents. I don't know. Sometimes I'm not fully craving bakery. So I just want to make sure I have some options. So I did pull some scent shot cups. So this first one is um, from Fantasy Wax. This is Olaf, which is toasted marshmallows. Um, and actually I'll go through my scent shot cups next. So I pulled a few from Fantasy Wax Melts. So this first one I thought would go well with the next one that I'll talk about. And this one's just a really nice toasted marshmallow scent. I feel like marshmallow and vanilla on uh, cold, I feel like they don't smell super strong. So this one to me is not very strong in the like scent shot cup here. Um, but that's kind of why I thought maybe it would be nice to blend it. So I'm going to cut this one up and the next one um, in probably four, like I'll probably cut it into fours here so I can blend them. So that's the first one. And then the next one is this one, which is hot chocolate stroll and it's just hot cocoa scented. So I thought you know, hot cocoa, you put marshmallows in the hot cocoa. So I thought the toasted marshmallow 
and the hot cocoa scent. I thought it would go perfectly together. So we're going to blend those two. We'll see how it goes. But this one's just a nice chocolate scent. I do enjoy um, chocolate and wax, I've realized. I've, you know, in the beginning, I didn't really care for chocolate that much, but I've realized I really do love it. So yeah, we're going to do that this week. Um, and then I have this one as well. This one, I think I got this in like a mystery grab bag or something. I think that I ordered from Fantasy Wax Melt. So this one, I think I'm assuming it's probably from like last year maybe or like early 2021 I'm not 100% sure but this one is frosty which is eggnog butter rum and nutmeg and this is actually like the first eggnog scent that I'm pulling in I I don't even think I have many eggnog scents to be honest I don't know why because I don't hate eggnog but we'll try this one we'll see how it goes it just smells mostly like eggnog and then you get like a hint of like that that nutmeg type of scent so I don't know. It just sounds really yummy. We'll try it. And then the last scent shot cup I pulled in is this one from Black Magic Melts. It is cranberry and zucchini bread. I love cranberry, especially this time of year. And I like it too with the zucchini bread. I definitely smell the cranberry more on the bottom of the scent shot cup. I definitely get it. Yeah, definitely way more on the bottom, but it's very like zucchini bread forward to my nose, but I'm thinking maybe the cranberry will come out a little bit more on warm. We'll see how that one goes, but I do think that'll be a nice one to try. And then the next one is actually from uh, Black Magic Melts as well. This one is gingerbread. I love a good gingerbread scent. Um, I think, was it last week? I think it was last week. Recently I had like a spicy like pumpkin gingerbread scent um, that was from Destination Wax and it was so good. I'm all about the gingerbread so I saw that they had the gingerbread in just like a snap bar. I got two of them because I'm all about gingerbread and I thought that that would be really really nice. So it's just a really good like spicy spicy bakery. Oh yeah this smells so good. Mmm. I love it. So I wanted to pull on some gingerbread after that uh, last melt that I melted that was gingerbread. I was literally all about it. So I wanted to get one of those pulled in for this week. Um, and what should we do next? Let me do clamshells, I guess. So the first one I pulled in was this one, which is from Super Tarts. It's Berrylicious, which is blackberry, strawberry, sponge sugar, and lemon twist. And it smells so good. It smells kind of like a like a blackberry lemonade to my nose. Like I get the lemon and I get the blackberry. Maybe a hint of strawberry, but I feel like the blackberry is more forward on this. So it just kind of smells like a nice lemonade scent. And I'm not mad about that. I'm all about a lemonade. So I just figured it would be nice to kind of, you know, switch it up. And just, you know, if I'm having a day where I just kind of want something a little bit, you know, something that's not so like bakery and holiday, I would try like some fruity style scents. So this one just jumped out at me and I figured it would be nice to try it this week. And then this other one is from Scentsy actually. And this is one that I've heard so many people like rave about. This one is definitely like a popular scent that comes out for the holidays. And this one is Wasail Wonderland. It was part of the Scents of the Season collection. And this one is like orange. It's like orange, lemon, it definitely has like a pine or tree note in here. It's like fresh and it's got maybe some cinnamon or like nutmeg or some spice note or something is in the background a little bit. Maybe at least to my nose. I mean, it's obviously it's on the package too. So I'll have to figure out what the notes are, but it's really, really pretty. I do enjoy it on cold. So I think I'm warm. I'm hoping I think it'll be a good one. And we're going to see how this goes because if it goes well... I might have to add this to my club or something because to my nose, it's not like fully Christmassy because I think the citrus is very strong, but I enjoy citrus. So like to my nose, I feel like this is a scent, like I would even melt this like spring, summer, just because that citrus is like, it's there. You smell that orange, you smell like that lemon. It's just really, really pretty. I like this one quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to trying that one. And then I did pull in this one from The Pharmacist's Daughter. This was a four pack. I did use one of these 
uh, I think back when I first got it to be honest and this one is lemon orange and cranberry and I thought this would be a nice one to pull in for maybe like the bathroom or something yeah it's just so fruity very citrusy and then you get like that berry that cranberry in the background it's really really lovely so I have a little bit of that left in here three snap bars so that one will definitely be useful this week in the bathroom and then this next one looks kind of gross so I'm sorry for the appearance of this one I don't know I think some some wax I'm assuming must have like like oils must have gotten on some of this package or something because the like the whole label is like discolored and kind of nasty so yeah disregard the appearance of this one but that's kind of part of why I pulled it in because I was like I just kind of want to use it because it's not looking so hot um but this one is from that smell good shop I ordered this like earlier this year but just because of the scent notes I decided to pull it or not pull it but I decided to push it till this season like this holiday season and this one is Bayberry it's pine and holiday spices so I have a six pack and this one's really pretty yeah it's really nice it's just a nice like pine scent with like a hint of that spice in the background but it's not like you know it's not like uh, red hot spicy or anything it's very like mild on that spice note but it's really 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 lovely so I don't know I've been hoarding it it's definitely cured for quite some time so I think it's time we use that one up and then I have this one as well I figured it would be nice to kind of throw this one in I've been craving like a peppermint and mocha type of scent and this one is uh from Rose Girls it's from the coffee sampler that I did get um uh, like I don't know I think maybe over the summer or something um but this one's really nice just a peppermint uh, mocha like bakery style scent mm, yeah her peppermint is so so good but you get that that mocha note it literally to my nose smells just like a peppermint mocha from starbucks so i'm all for it i'm loving the scent of that so i'm really excited to melt that one um, and then I'm pulling in this one because I've, I'm just, ugh, I'm obsessed with blueberry. I don't know. I'm just all about it. So we're going to pull this one in and I have other scents from her that are blueberry as well. And I have more on the way. So I'm like, I just need to get going. I need to use some, some blueberry. I need more of it in my life. So we're going to pull it in again this week. I'm all about it. So this one is a break me bar. It was actually a two pack. I'm pretty sure I gave part of it to a friend. I'm pretty sure that's where the other part of this went. So this one, yeah, it was a two pack of little break me bars and this is blueberry with slight hints of zucchini bread. It is so good. I love her blueberry with zucchini bread. Yeah, it's so good. Mm -hmm. So figured I could continue using some of her blueberry blends just because I have more on the way, but I love a snap bar as well. So convenient. So we're gonna, we're gonna melt that. And pretty sure that'll be a, no a lovely one I'll enjoy it very much I'm sure and then the last one that I'm pulling in is this one from Wicked Essence this one is to the moon and back which is pink sugar strawberry and coconut cream this one is so good you guys oh my god yeah I'm all about the pink sugar and with that strawberry and the coconut like you get all of the scent notes in this one and it's such a good combo. So depending on how this one is, I have to, I might go back on and see if I can get more of this because it's fabulous. It smells so good on cold. So really excited to try that one. So that is my basket for this week. I think I have like a, a good amount. Um, I also am doing an advent calendar. I have a 12 day, like 12 days to Christmas advent calendar that I ordered from Broadway Wax. So I am starting that tomorrow, which is Monday. So I figured I'll obviously have that wax this week as well to pull in. So I think I should be good. Like, I, I don't think I'll run out. I don't, yeah, I'll be fine. So I just wanted to point that out. I will have that, um, that I'll be adding to this basket as well. And if you guys are interested, I will be sharing my um, advent calendar. I'll be sharing it on my Instagram. And um, I usually leave my Instagram information below. So if you guys are interested and you want to see and kind of follow along for the advent calendar, 
yeah, my uh, Instagram and all that information will be below if you guys are interested, but I'm so excited. This is my first year doing like a wax advent calendar. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm just, yeah, I think it'll be just a fun surprise and just, you know, something different. So I got it from Broadway Wax. So that'll be happening this week as well. I was, I was going to do a video and just open it all at once, but I don't know. I just, for me personally, for it being the first like wax advent, I was like, you know what, let's just, let's wait. Let's, you know, open it day by day and just kind of get that, that advent you know, that calendar feeling where you do it day to day. So I don't know. I'm really excited. But yeah, so that is my video. I will stop rambling. I won't keep you guys any longer, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a fabulous week and I will see you guys very soon in another video. Have a good night. Bye.